As I've said before in a past video, 3D printing is coming and this is going to have a huge change to anyone who is into wargaming because first of all it's going to make figures a lot cheaper. That's the first thing, so that's incredibly exciting. The fact that you can probably be able to get a heck of a lot of really high quality, really good miniatures at really cheap prices. And again, you can get a lot of that stuff now. But again, this company here, this from the article of Escapist, is exactly what's going to be coming in the future. And it's companies like these that you're going to see start springing up. In fact, they've got a Kickstarter going, and I am highly, highly tempted to actually kickstart it, because that would be the very first time I've actually ever kickstarted something. So what are they basically doing? Well, they've set up a company called Proxy War, and they are going to be focusing on 3D printing models. But here's the thing. Because of what they can do, what they will be doing is allowing you on their website uh, to take a series of their thing I think what they're doing is steampunk sci-fi fantasy I think for the middle of the to begin with and basically I think they've got over something like 10,000 parts currently and basically on their website you'll be able to go okay I want to make uh, this unit so I'll need this head this body these arms, this weapon, and these legs. And you'll be able to select them like that. That is amazing. I mean, instantly, if you are into miniature war game or anything like that, instantly you should be like, that's incredible. Because how many times have you come across a, a, a game or something where you've had that one special character, and you've wanted to get that one special character, but you've never had... Um, be able to find that right figure for him like you want him to be able to carry that two handed axe or you want him to be able to you know he's carrying a machine gun but he's got to have that uniform that everyone else has got so the only options open to you own are basically to either mod it or uh, model to a green stuff conversion or something like that but imagine you've got this access to this website now It opens up a whole new world of possibilities, particularly for miniature wargaming. Really, really does. Because now you can go, uh, for example, the Society of Thule uh, Totenkopf Battalion is basically Prussians in gas masks. And I've, I've finally found a company uh, that does Prussians in gas masks. The only problem is, is that there are two named characters. One is sort of a evil doctor, and the other one is a the leader, who basically in the rules he describes carrying a very large axe and a sawn-off shotgun, basically a short-range shotgun. Can't find those anywhere. <laughs> I've got pretty much the main thrust for what I want of figures I've want, but it's those two that are going to be missing. And it's just like, and I guarantee everyone has felt like that at some point. But now you've got this company, and all of a sudden, possibilities are open for it. So. Uh, I believe their end date for their Kickstarter, I believe, I think it's 2014. Um, oh wait, I can't find it. But yeah, it's in the article somewhere, but I think it was 2014, I think, March 2014. So that's quite coming up soon. So... Basically, the 3D printed revolution is coming, and not only is it going to have a huge change on manufacturing, but there's a change that is going to be incredibly niche, and a lot of people like me are really excited about it, because it's going to change miniature wargaming. 